Hello everyone and welcome to a new Forza Horizon 5 video. Today I have for you another awesome vehicle that I am about to customize and review. I am talking about this Dodge Super B. This is a muscle car and if you know my channel, uh, if you are not new on my channel, you already know that I absolutely love muscle cars. Also, I, uh, I just got this Zenovo ST1. But with this one, I already have a video, so better check that out if you like to, if you like to to see how I made it, how I made it look. And as you can see, I complete every single uh, challenge that it's available here. It was pretty easy, so definitely you should try to win this car, the Super B. It's a really, Welcome really back, awesome Charlie. car. Now let's see what we uh, let's go inside the car. Actually, let's go to that Dodge. Here we go. And where is that super B? Here it is. The Cornet Bro. I can barely wait to customize it and to and to review it. We're gonna drive it a little bit stock. I want to see how this car feels stock, like from the factory. And then we're gonna make it way much better. It's a muscle car, but I'm gonna put a 4x4 system. I just want to make it look and feel insane. Probably classic cars are my, it's my dream car, a classic car, to have a classic car, yeah. Even though I love also the new cars, the classic cars have something that, I don't know, they are just, <laughs> brings me a lot of memories and feelings when I drive something like this. Now, this is the interior, it's perfect. But also the exterior, I want to show you how it looks from the front. Pro, look at that shape. It looks like a it looks a little bit like a Pontiac, like an old Pontiac. The lines from the front, from those headlights, yeah, are a little bit like a. I forgot the model. You know, I'm from Europe, and here in Europe we do, we cannot find a lot of cars like this, a lot of um, American muscle cars. But definitely, I want to go to a showroom to, to see something like that. Now, uh, let's go to a, or a car meeting or something like that. Let's go to uh, to customize it. I don't want to waste your time. The car, it's pretty strong, but not what how I like to, to be. That's why we're going to upgrade it. We're going to put a bigger engine. Let's see what are all my options. We have 425 horsepower. We have rear wheel drive. Yeah, for a muscle car that can be perfect. I don't even know what to take, bro. This thing. This looks a little bit better, but this will have more horsepower. So let's go with the monster. We're gonna put all wheel drive and now we can add up more, uh, more things. Just look at this thing. We can make it an S1 class. Race brakes, perfect the suspension the stock suspension is so good i love it but probably i'm gonna put something stiffer like that race suspension it's a little bit stiffer uh, the 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 one from the factory is just uh, how do you say it's just a little bit loose it's more comfortable but we go we go with the race one now the gearbox we can change some things or we don't No, let's not change that by the way i'm gonna share with you the tune code if you want to to check that out i don't know if i mentioned that now okay let's see what we have here on rims probably this will be my new rims yes and let's make them a little bit bigger you know i love bigger bro in the back we have some huge rims and also i want to see how the car will look like with this stock you know what let's make them bigger probably i'm gonna keep the stock rims you know on classic cars it's better to to keep it stock but only just a little bit more aggressive that's it okay i don't really like this thing that's why i'm gonna lose some points but i don't want to put that i think it doesn't look right and the engine no the stock one i think is the best so let's save everything 
123k a lot of horsepower and now let me save that for you if you don't know how to save if you are here for the first time just go to save setup here just put a name my name is always this one and also you're gonna see the tune code very very fast now let's go ahead and see a design i want to test out what designs we have and if i'll find something nice i'm gonna copy if not we have to make our own design okay a lot of nice designs here but this one is looking pretty awesome i don't know why it's taking so long to Oh, nice the fast and furious mm, i don't like that logo i like the movie but i don't like that logo on my car i like the black rims i don't like the black hood so it's time for another one mm, okay i want to see this one looks pretty interesting it looks pretty interesting this one not a matte color but it's something special bro i think it's looking just beautiful it's just something special you know what let's not waste more time and let's just go outside i want to share you to the tune code but first i want to go here to see the top speed to bro we're gonna change that we're about to have 370 bro this car is quite slow yep quite slow we can make it a little bit faster from this option <clears throat> and now let's go ahead and my creative hub and then tune code and let's find the beauty the dodge i don't even know about this car bro i love i love the dodge charger the challenger those are my favorite uh, muscle cars but this one is something uh, quite new for me I saw picture but I never knew how this car uh, it's called okay here it is no this is the Barracuda okay this is a little bit similar with the one that we have right now but this will be the Dodge I don't know which one is better probably the Barracuda is more famous than this one but I love it I just love it let's go This car is meant to be like this, is meant to dri be driven like this, first person mode, just to enjoy everything. And let's hope it's gonna stay pretty well on the road. But remember, we have a lot of horsepower on a pretty, not small car, because this is, uh, it has to be huge, even though it's, with a, it's a coupe, it has to be huge in real life. Because the American muscle cars are wider longer than regular european cars way much wider and longer and also that power that we have uh, that we have right now you can really feel it when we accelerate this is something very very nice i just you know what i break and when i accelerate you can just feel that power and it can stay very well on the road just look at that what's up with this location bro a lot of people here this was my bad usually i try to not to ruin my cars but sometimes they have so much power and i cannot keep them straight on a line definitely we're gonna go on the highway okay, i told you this has a lot of horsepower but you know what let me let me first see if i can drift a little bit my way to this uh, road we're gonna go to a highway to test that top speed to see how fast we can reach that 330 kilometers per hour Ooh, i told you i can drift with this thing bro that was the perfect drift 
I'm like the perfect drifter today. Nice. Proud of myself. Pro, what I have today? I know how to drive finally. Now. What is because of this car? It's so good. Okay. Yeah, I can really drift today. Let's go to the highway. Because you, you see enough of my drifting. And I don't want to crush the car. Okay. You, you never saw that. Now let's go to this highway and see what we can do. This will be the path, okay. From 0 to 100 in no time. Let's see that 200, perfect, 300. We have a huge engine, so remember that. Yeah, pretty fast. I just got that 347 and it feels like it's limited. Probably because of that gearbox. If you gonna if you want to change the gearbox, maybe you can get a lot more faster, definitely. But I preferred the original gearbox, I don't know why. It's fast enough for me, you can reach the top speed very fast. And this this is just a beauty and I'm so glad that I have this card to my collection. Thank you so much for watching, like always, hit that like button, subscribe, share, press the notification bell and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Be safe and see you soon. Bye.